jakethefilmguymicrobudgeter.com and in today's video we're going to be talking about the very first thing you should be doing when you are building your crew. But Jake the Film Guy, I've already got a crew. Well, that's great. You can skip this video and the next several videos. But if you are brand new to assembling a paid crew, when it comes time to hiring people to do something larger than just the old, hey, I shot this on a GH5 with a 35 millimeter lens. I call it Cup of Joe. When you have graduated beyond that point and you are ready to lead people and start becoming the filmmaker that God has designed you to be, and given you the unique gifts of vision and leadership, well, then you have to go and start actually putting people to the plow. And how do you do that? Well, you got to find talented people that are better than you at the various skill sets that make up a film shoot and pay them accordingly. Now, when I say film, I'm going to also talk about video production here interchangeably. So don't beat me over the head with a baguette if I say film and I mean video or vice versa. The first part when it comes to hiring a crew is where the world do you find crew members? Well, first place I would look is on Facebook. If you're brand new to an area, it's a perfect time to do this. If you haven't already, join film-related Facebook groups. Start contributing. You could even start with just asking questions. Become known in those groups. They are a great place to start posting help wanted ads when the time comes. Second place I would look, it's actually twofold. Production Hub and staff me up. I've used both as crew members. When it comes to being a producer, I've used Production Hub, but not Staff Me Up. Either way, I like both platforms. It is a cutthroat business that we live in, meaning the competition is stiff. Having said that, don't be discouraged when you submit for a crew position. If you are actually hiring crew members, well, that's a different story. You're going to get some quality leads. With Production Hub, I put out two different ads, and that's the thing about Production Hub. You have to put out one distinct ad for each distinct skill set that you are hiring for. Savvy? I put out two ads for our church. I was flooded with quality leads. They were ultimately beyond our budget, but that was a reflection of me and the project, not the crew members. Those guys were phenomenal. Maybe down the road I can work with them. Third place I would look is your own circle. Back in Vegas, when my friend Dale was shooting his first micro-budget feature, Unwritten, he had a large group of people that helped him make that film. After all, as Orson Welles famously said, it takes an army to make a film. The other arts, they're pretty cheap. He was talking about, of course, solo painting endeavors and things like that. But yes, when it comes to running a film shoot, you have to build an army of people. And Dale did just that. I needed a good reliable grip, he sent me several names, I went through them, and I'll explain how to do that in the next several videos. How do you screen people and not break the EEOC rules? Stay tuned. As it was, Dale had a wealth of talent under his belt. When I shot my proof of concept, powers and principalities, I needed a good reliable grip and he led me to rad. Bada bing bada boom, Bob's your uncle. You never know who people know, so start asking the people that are around you already once you've already gone through the iterations of Facebook, Staff Me Up, Production Hub. Actually, I would do it simultaneously. Find out who people know. If you found this information helpful, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be sure to send some Scottish accents your way. And until next time, keep creating with the king. We have to win this game. You understand? Can't have any more of these third stringers taking up space. The shoelace is untied.